Okay, we finished up wrapping up the paint box, <clears throat> but we've left some areas untouched. Okay, so since we last left off, excuse me, technical difficulties. Since we last left off, what we've done is I've taken yellow tape to show you what I've completed, sawed off the top, sealed that side, sealed that side. Now, we were talking about lighting inside this cave that you just built. Now, for a whole whopping $8, go to your local IKEA if you have one, or go online to IKEA.com, look up the Billy Bud bookcases, and this is a Billy Bud light. It's designed to go over top of their bookcases. Beautiful things. Here's why. First off, the outlet unplugs. So you have a thin, small little hole if you need to poke a hole where you want to mount the light. Two, got an on-off switch right there. Little toggle, boop, boop, boop. And a beautiful thing is it moves and it extends. So you can make this thing work inside your little cave. Now, let's talk about mounting inside your cave. If you have a table that you really don't care about, there's nothing wrong with taking small screws and mounting it in the corner. Ta-da! I don't like that approach. I like my light coming down from the top. So here's a cool thing that I love about these Billy Bud lights. Now, you remember your standard roll of duct tape? Well, guess what? The roll of duct tape is the stencil for the light. It fits right inside the light. So if you take a roll of duct tape, Boop. It sits inside the light. Because you want the hole smaller than this device is. Because what you're going to do is because you're working with the duct tape, you left the last part open, like I said, so that you can feed this light in. You cut that hole and it's smaller. You can basically fish this light in right here at the center mass point and its own tension will hold it in place where the, these rods are basically flush with the cardboard box once you drill the hole and then you can tape right around each side of it to hold it in place now you have a toggle light well what if i don't like that toggle light the great part about the billy bud is it also comes with another toggle so you can turn off power here or turn it off on the front of the unit Throw that bad boy on, use this as your on-off, run it down the side of your table. Again, make sure that you understand that this is not me saying this is how you build a spray booth. This is a way to do it very cheaply. So <clears throat> we're going to cut the hole, come back, then I'll tape it up. I'll use yellow tape so you can see what I'm doing and see where how I did the steps. White's done first. Remember, we wrapped the arms. The wing arms boop boop then we ran a tape from the bottom whoop overlapping so that we can wipe off not starting from the top and going down but starting from the bottom going up with our strips that run all the way around and give this arm support okay <clears throat> once we're done with that the yellow tape is step two that's where we start locking things down and just actually reinforcing. The inside here, like I talked about with masking tape, is my preferred method because you can pull off the masking tape. You just take a cheap roll of masking tape and lay it down. Yes, it's yellow, but it's not the reflective surface that you're getting from. Remember, your light's shining down from below. So let's continue on.